Hey, yeah, hey, welcome back. And uh, yeah, go to uh, Liquid Lunch TV on YouTube and, and hit the subscribe button um, because we need all the uh, viewers to uh, show themselves in many ways. And uh, after every day's show, uh, sometime in the next 24 hours, um, Nico, our associate producer, and Dylan, his associate, uh, will put the clips online. Um, sometimes it takes two or three days and, until I notice, and, and then I got to send an email, and then they happen. But uh, click that subscribe button and um, check out our YouTube page. We need all the help we can get. And uh, when you need help in the blockchain area, you bring in a great guest like Sir John Hargrave. He is the uh, CEO of Media Shower, and he's also the author of Blockchain for Everyone. John, thanks for joining us today on Liquid Lunch. Really appreciate it. Hey, thank you so much for having me. Looking forward to it. Well, uh, Mr. Hargrave, first I have to ask you, I'm eager to learn about blockchain because on this show, I am by far the least educated about all things cryptocurrency and blockchain. But why are you Sir Hargrave? Were you knighted? What is, should we be calling you Sir? What's your, what's your story? Yeah, uh, a couple years ago, I, uh, I asked the Queen of England, uh, Your Majesty, I sent her actually a letter to Buckingham Palace. I said, Your Majesty, I would like to be knighted. Because I just thought Sir John Hargrave sounded so much classier. It does. It sounds it? great. Yeah. Right. So uh, I actually got a letter back from the Queen, a letter on the Buckingham Palace stationery, and they said, uh, well, in order to be knighted, you have to do something honorable. And I was like, that's, that's a lot of work. <laughs> so uh, I took the shortcut. I went down to my local county courthouse where you can pay to have your name legally changed for like 35 bucks. Went before a judge. And today, here I am with you. So you Sir are John the, Hargrave. There Sir it is. John Hargrave. It's official. Wow. So and, that's, uh, impressive. that's impressive uh, other than the fact that you sir circumvented being honorable. I mean, we would have liked <laughs> a little something, a token of honorable. What's really interesting, though, about being Sir John Hargrave is like everyone, you want to live up to everyone's expectations. So actually, it has made me more honorable mm. in a weird kind of way because I want to I wanna live up to the title. I, I get it. It's like these guys that run around pretending to be doctors and then they have to actually learn about mm -hmm. medicine. That makes sense. Right. And uh, then they wind up being a chiropractor or a physical therapist <laughs> well, or something. I didn't something say like that. that. Yeah. I like, I like I chiropractors. It, you know. that I, like. I love chiropractors, but, you know, it's not an uh, MD. So, Sir Hargrave, you got to tell us about your new book. I am the self-proclaimed crypto dummy on this show. Um, what are people it's not going not self-proclaimed. Well, I gave you that name. True. You, you are, are our official crypto What are people dummy. going to learn about uh, cryptocurrency in general and blockchain specifically? Yeah, I wanted to write the book that I wanted to read. In other words, I wanted to write something that was really funny and interesting and that I would read cover to cover. And I'm very interested in blockchain. But when people tried to explain Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies to me, whenever I read any of these other books, I would fall asleep by like the third chapter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know and yeah, so we, blockchain we for kinda. everyone really is accessible and readable for everyone. But what's in it? What is the substance of it? Yeah. So uh, what we talk about is how to make money with Bitcoin and blockchain. So in other words, how to invest in this new digital asset class in a way that will actually make money, but also do so in a way that hedges risk. So balancing the risk and reward of this new asset class. But it's wrapped within a really funny story, because again, I wanted to make something that people would read cover to cover. So it's wrapped within this great story, and the story is really about how to reinvent yourself tells the story of how I started off uh, running this marketing company. At the age of 50, I was, had built this, this business, but I really felt like I could do more. I wasn't happy with where it was going. And so I had bought Bitcoin. I bought it when it was like $125 in 2013. And just four years later, that $125 Bitcoin had risen to $20,000 per Bitcoin. So it was by far the greatest investment I ever made. And I said, we're going all in on this Bitcoin thing, on this blockchain technology. We're going all in. So I pivoted the entire company to focus on blockchain. And the story of that, all the ups and downs 
uh, that happened in that roller coaster, as well as how is it work, how it works, and how to make money, are what we talk about uh, in this book, Blockchain for Everyone. Fantastic, and you can find out more about uh, Sir John's uh, great insights at uh, Bitcoin Market Journal. You have uh, all kinds of content for people to learn. We've had uh, Kiana Danielle. She wrote uh, Cryptocurrency Investing for Dummies. Uh, we had her on the show. And our audience, they like, you know, they're newbies at this and they're learning. And I tell them, if you're investing in crypto, go into it with the expectation of losing every penny and you can never be let down. Um, yeah. But is there just kind of simple one-on-one things for people at, that you guys give out at Bitcoin Market Journal? Yeah, so I can talk a little bit about that basic investing strategy because I know your audience loves that. So the big mistake that people made during the heyday of Bitcoin was they put too much money into Bitcoin. They risked too much. And our approach is think of just a classic investment portfolio of stocks and bonds and think about allocating just a little bit of that to Bitcoin, or if you're ambitious, maybe to the top three digital assets, which are called cryptocurrencies. So we're talking like 2% of your overall portfolio up to maybe 10%, somewhere in that range. And you can think of this as your mad money or your alternative investments. But that is the way that we recommend getting involved with this new digital asset class. Fantastic. Now, that asset class has radically outperformed every other type of investment uh, over the last five years, and even just in the year since I wrote this book. So I finished my manuscript about a year ago. It just came out uh, recently. But in here, we outline this portfolio. We call it the Blockchain Believers Portfolio. And again, these small little slices are the blockchain uh, allocation or uh, just right to Bitcoin. And exactly. we show that these portfolios have outperformed the stock market. They've outperformed really every other asset class. And that's just when you're like uh, allocating a very small percentage. This okay. to me is common sense. All and right. it's really remarkable how few financial advisors are telling their, their clients to do this or even care about All it. Right. I can't well, believe Sir John, how many financial we, uh, advisors I thank you. Gonna don't have to have even you have the curiosity can hear me, to but, learn uh, about this stuff. Uh, yeah. we'll Why is that? Sir John will you explain Hargrave, that though? to me, Frank? And, uh, I can't. Uh, I will point out, though, that there are a number of authors that come on this show that do send us a complimentary copy of their book, but Sir John Hargrave, not one of them. All right, we take a quick break. You're watching Liquid Lunch back after this. You turn 